Rats in New York City, the rule of thumb is that for every person living here, there are at least one rat per person. But the rodents aren't limited just to the five boroughs. We know that. Folks in Nassau County and Long Island say the rat problem is bad and getting worse, and sometimes they're coming around at facilities owned by the county. Now, a big campaign to exterminate the rats. Long Island board Kristen Thorne live in the hamlet of Plainview with the story. Kristen. Bill, Eyewitness News has been covering rat infestations in places like Nassau County here in Plainview for the last two years. Some Nassau County legislators say it's enough. There he is, right there. When Yolanda Coveney had rats in her yard in Plainview this summer, she says inspectors with the Nassau County Health Department were little help. They looked in our yard, they looked in my neighbor's yard, all the other neighbors, and they, and they told us, yes, you could see the, the rat droppings that they were coming through, but they said basically, you know, you need to put out traps, you need to do whatever it is that needs to be done to, to get rid of them. It didn't used to be like that. We always had the traps, the rat traps that we gave to the families that had rats in their, in their yards. It's been about 20 years since Nassau County has done that. The county's rodent extermination program was well exterminated from the budget years ago. These officials say it's time to bring it back. This is a program that will actually uh, empower the Nassau County Department of Health to enter residents' private property if they request it. and place traps on their properties. County legislator John Ferretti Jr. is introducing an amendment to the county's budget which would add $450,000 that already exists in the budget to the Nassau County Health Department purely to combat rats. Rats have increasingly become a problem. Uh, we used to see them uh, rarely and then all of a sudden they became constant visitors. This is a program this community is in dire need of, and it's imperative that the county executive does not veto the restoration of this program. The legislature is set to vote on this amendment on Thursday. I reached out to the Nassau County Executive's office to gauge her level and what she's feeling on this. They released a statement saying that the county executive's budget includes more than a dozen new positions to protect public health, and this will support the county health department's continuing inspection for pets.